good morning people welcome back to my channel so it is like super duper early in the morning it's like maybe three o'clock in the morning but i have to leave by six so i was like let me get up um because my nars then came my lord mercier then came and i wanted to try to test it on camera so let's hurry up before i pay this out okay i'm gonna start out with the nk dark brown pencil to do my brows and i'm just going to fill them in I know one thing, I am tired, like, for whatever reason, I knew I had to get up because I normally take my kids to go and get donuts too, so I'm like, I had to be ready for that, and then, um, I'm gonna take them out this weekend to dinner, so, yeah, I'm up right now, I'm on tour, I ain't got time for this, I'm hoping and praying this all comes out the way that I'm seeing it inside of my man, but it may not. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to do some color. I'm not really sure how it's going to work out, but like I said, I'm going to attempt to do it, okay? So to start, I'm just going to be using a very dark brown. I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place brown, this little brown right here, and I'm going to fill out my crease with this, and then we can go in with the color, but I kind of want like a deep crease. I'm not really sure where I'm going with this, so don't quote me. I'm just doing whatever I do and praying that it comes out the way that it needs to but I'm not really sure but I'm hoping for the best so once you have this built up the way that you want it to to kind of ease my edges up here and kind of smoke them out i'm going to use a little bit of brown and just kind of wipe that off in there to make that a nice transition and this is just a light brown and i'm just easing that ease on down ease on down the road just to make sure that's not like really really harsh and that when i do the rest of my makeup it blends in very nicely kind of still leave it a little bit of the highlight out I like my highlights to kind of show but I also use like a lighter concealer which allows me to achieve a brighter highlight without putting on like I don't know like powder and all of that I just don't like that under my brow I feel like it's too much sometimes so I don't use it but if ever there's a time that I do kind of lose my um my brows a little bit like the highlight in between my brows then I'll use this pencil and this one has like the little white on this tip and you can kind of bring out the highlight again this is from brow lights I don't know I got this in my boxy charm box but it looks like this so yeah okay so I told you guys I wanted like a kind of burgundy type of look or did I say that I just said color right whatever um this right here is the ES120 the sweetest treats palette from car beauty and i'm gonna use this to add just like a little bit of burgundy like a deep deep burgundy berry type of color to my corners and just kind of blend that out a little bit so i'm just going to add that just right here in this area and i'm not going to bring it all the way in just adding it right there oh my goodness the fact that i'm up and i'm talking to y'all right now let me tell you something you should like the video on that alone because i am never talking to y'all in the morning like i don't have time for this i am tired as hell so give me my like give it to me give it to me now okay so i'm just going to keep working this until you get this as much as you want it to be and i just dip back into the palette and go back into my eyeshadow if i need to keep building it up and then the more that you do that, of course, the brighter it gets. So if you need to, just keep building. Once you have that built up to where you need it to be, you're not gonna cut your crease. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills primer to cut my crease. I just find it that it's easier to work with, um, but you can use whatever you normally use to cut your crease. I just, like I said, I find this one to be super easier to work with. And I feel like it makes the colors really, really pop. But once again, that's just a personal preference. 
Oh my goodness, my drawer closed. Disrespectful in the morning, Lord. And I work off of the back of my hand a lot when I do my makeup. So back of my hands are pretty dirty. And I don't like to bring um, my cut creases all the way over. I kind of stop here and then I'll blend that portion out. Okay, I'm going back in with the Car Beauty palette using that berry color. And now I'm just going to sweep. So starting from the edge and just sweeping that over that will hide the uh, demarcation line that we have. So just sweep it. Not too much, not too much, because you don't want to go crazy with this, just like a little bit. But I feel like um, the primer allowed that berry to like really, really, really show. Because before, it wasn't as pigmented as this, but this allowed for it to just kind of break free. And I'm just blending it out, focusing right there, kind of like on the crease area, and then bringing it down. I don't know whether I want to do a shimmer or a matte. Oh, there's my alarm scared the hell out of me. Um, I am not sure. And I was like, I don't know if I want to do pink or if I want to do orange. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I want to have like some color in here somehow. I just don't know how we would incorporate color. I really don't know, because I feel like the norm would be to go in with pink to complement this, but then a part of me is kind of like, no, I want to go in with orange to just, I don't know, like bring it out a little bit more. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I'm not really sure in the morning, but I know I don't have time for this, because I have to go. Fuck it, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to use this orange. This orange is from Juvia's Place, just this little thing right here. And I'm gonna try whatevs. And I'm just gonna start off light in case I need to go in and cover all of this up. See that orange not popping the way I thought it was gonna pop, but that's okay, we're gonna make it work. We gotta make it work, we're gonna make it work. At least I hope so. At least I hope we're gonna make it work. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. So that kind of took away my burgundy a little bit. I'm gonna bring that back. Sometimes I find that brush that I had. Which one was I using? I don't think it was this, but I think it was this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into my Car Beauty palette and I'm gonna bring a little bit of that burgundy because I lost it. And like I said, this is nothing but like just a sweeping motion barely touching the color in front of it to just make sure that that blends i feel like this is not popping the way that i wanted to and i need a color to like really make it stand out i'm gonna go in with yellow the yellow is also from that juvia's place palette and i'm gonna just kind of stamp it right there i can't find the correct brush i should be using for this although i probably should um, we're just gonna do the best that we can right now with what we got. So I'm just stamping that on the inner corner. And I kind of want to brighten them up in the inner corner a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with like a shimmer shadow. Because I feel like it needs to be a smidget brighter. These are very fall-ish colors. Very fall-ish. I cannot find, I need to find the right brush because it's taken away from the previous color hang on let me find the right brush i should be using to do this so because i'm almost done with my eyeshadow before i can find the correct brush i'm going to use this laura mercier primer this is the pure canvas primer but i'm going to use this because i need time for it to kind of set and get ready in place for my actual foundation um i prefer to use like a lot of my primers kind of focusing them on my t-zone because I am extremely oily, but I wanted to try this. This is one of the products I picked up when I bought the um, Laura Mercier. So I bought the powder, but with my Amex card, um, you have to spend a certain amount in order to get cash back on there. So 
I had to buy the primer and the setting powder in order to get my little cash back. I cannot find the brush that I need. So we just gonna try to use this one. This one is close enough. You just need like a fluffy brush to make sure that you can blend all of your colors in without losing them because I was totally just losing them. So, so bring that orange back into play. And this is like the lightest of the light taps. When I work with mattes, I'm like super light handed. Um, and then just kind of bring that yellow back off in here. A little bit corners just so it's brighter the fact that i'm talking to y'all so much this morning like i'm proud of myself because i do not normally do this normally i'm like uh-uh i do not have twine that's it i'm gonna bring some more of the burgundy back into play a little bit i'm just gonna use whatever's on the brush and just kind of tag that in there Boom. I'm gonna go back because I see some of the orange was a little bit jacked up here. Back in there. And then just dust off the excess. Then I'm going to take some black and go on my outer corners. Y'all know I love a deep corner. I just would not be me if I did not do a deep edge. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of black and just make that corner deep. I kind of want to brighten up the inner corners, so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to brighten up those inner corners by using a shimmer. Now, what shimmer I'm going to use, I'm not sure. It'll still be out of the Juvia's Place palette, but I kind of want to go in with this one a little bit. That one seems to be my go-to. Mm, or do I want to do the gold? I'm not really sure. I think that one, the one, the first one I pointed to. Okay, let me get a small brush and then we can go on the inner corners with that. Okay, so this is just to add a little bit pizzazz, a little flavor to it. I'm going to use a small little brush and I'm going to apply that inner corner out of the way. It's right there. Not a lot, but you just want it to be popping. just kind of provides a little bit of razzle dazzle to the picture now that my primer has had time to kind of dry and relax I'm going in with my color corrector and I'm just gonna correct all of my dark marks I like to correct like around the inner corners too like I mean the outer corners of my mouth too any dark mark that I have I'll go in and correct that and blend this out kind of glad I went in with the orange instead of the pink I mean I think the pink would have been fire but I like this too I think it kind of gave it a little bit more I don't know I think I will call this like a fall look yeah like the fall okay so the moment that we've all been waiting for this is the NARS foundation this is in the shade new Caledonia hopefully I said it right I don't know um, but this one has a golden or yellow undertone. No, I'm sorry, not yellow undertone. This has an olive undertone. It's early and I'm sleepy. Give me a break. Um, because I found out that I'm an olive undertone. So I'm going to just take a little bit because, like I said, I like to work off the back of my hands. I'm not really sure how much coverage I'm going to get with this. So I just took like a very little right there on the back of my hand. And we're going to try to apply it and see what happens. So I'm just going to take my brush in this and I'm going to start applying. Hmm. The match seems to be pretty good. I was a little bit nervous because I match myself online based on like pictures and um, my undertone and like what other foundations I actually wear. So, hmm, that actually looks really good and it didn't take much at all. Oops. It didn't take much at all I mean I'm probably gonna like need just like a little bit more but for the coverage I think it's pretty good I also ordered um, some of the I don't want to lie 
what do you call that the concealer i ordered some concealer from them as well now this makeup i think the foundation is like 50 dollars a bottle if i'm not mistaken and i was going to get the one that's like a little bit taller but i guess because of my skin type they told or they recommended um that i get this one so the soft matte so that's the one that i got um but yeah like i was saying this makeup is expensive so i will not be wearing this every day this is gonna be like my special event type makeup uh like i told y'all i'm on a budget okay okay so first impression of the foundation i like it um this is the concealer the concealer is in the shade let me make sure Cir circer de orgy i don't know how to say it y'all know i'm not good with pronouncing shit y'all know it i got the cream concealer because i've always been a fan of cream concealer i just like the way it sits on my face um, but it's so hard to find like a good cream concealer, so I haven't been using them in a while. Um, but this one, I like the consistency of it. I'm going to blend it out. Um, but I feel like, you know how with liquid concealers, you have to wait until they kind of tack down a little bit before you can blend them out. With the cream concealer, I feel like you can just go in for the kill and it's going to be alright. You know, like, I think I wait too much. Okay, I'm going to take this brush. And I'm going to blend all of that out. I need to have a mirror up so I can see. I can't see. Blend all of that out. I like the blend on this. Like the blend is super easy. Um, I'm not really like tugging at it too much. It's just like light taps. And it's a blending out. So... I mean, so far, I like it. I would have to wear it all day to really get a feel for it to see if it's something that I'd be able to rock with. But like I said, this would not be my everyday. I am not making that much money where I can wear a $50 foundation every day. Like, we just, we just not there. We just, uh-uh, no. But I do like it. I mean, you can definitely tell the difference in using, you know, drugstore products and high-end products. Like, this is... I think like back in the day I used to use NARS like if I'm not mistaken I used to use them I think I had the concealer once like this is when I thought I was balling out y'all I was balling in you know, at the time um and I like the concealer I always have but like shit $32 I mean I guess you're getting your money's worth especially with the cream one because you don't have to use a lot as you guys see I didn't use too much at all. Like, I only used a little bit. So, I could totally see. I could, I could see that. I could see the price. I, I might. Oh, I might. Maybe it is worth the investment. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. Of course, I got to go back to the drugstore products because I don't have no more Richie Rich. Um, so, I used the Black Radiance to contour my forehead and my nose. And then, I used a little bit of the Kylie Cosmetics right underneath it. And we're just going to blend all of this out. I did add a little bit more of the NARS to my inner corner. Just kind of letting that sit for a second before I actually blend that out. Um, just so we get a nice bright under eye like i just like brightness y'all and whenever i do my forehead i blend down because i don't like to blend up no more because it just it be too much going into the lace front you know what i'm saying like it's just it's a no for me so i just blend downward and that way it blends into the forehead more than it blends into the lace okay so being 100 honest right now i'm not 100% sold on the concealer because it does appear very blotchy in in spots and I've gone over it like three four times and it's just yeah I'm just not a fan of the concealer I don't like the way it lays like mm, I, I'm not too sure about this like in here it's just very blotchy like in that little area I don't know I don't know but I don't have time this morning to really harp on it or go over it too much um, so I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier this is the translucent honey and um, I did kind of get a feel for this yesterday and it was actually pretty lightweight and easy to maneuver and kind of bake and wipe off um, so I did like that about it 
but yeah back to that nars i'm not really sure about the cream concealer like i like more of a like to me that that comes off as like a very sheer coverage and i'm more of a full coverage type of gal so i'm not really too sure about the nars i don't i don't like it this is my first time using it so i'm not gonna say like 100 percent like i don't like it but yeah like i just i see all the the splotches i don't know i just see a lot of splotchiness and i'm not really here for that okay of course i'm using my bronzer to just kind of blend this out or set my i'm sorry i'm using my bronzers to set my contour into place and i'm just going in and just brushing that off in there it's a brush and a tap i use whatever is comfortable for me Shit. i don't have a twine this morning i'm already irritated that nars freaking um what do you call it concealer then piss me off because i'm like what is this what what the hell was that like it's just super super duper blotchy i i don't like that at all i'm gonna take my opv palette and i'm going to apply me some blush because i feel like every look now needs some blush before i was not that way but now i'm like yeah every look you need to be blushing it up but that's just me though like you, you ain't gotta do that you ain't gotta do it mm -mm. it's just me just what i like to do i think it just kind of brings back some color into your face which i like so, I'll just blush it on up. Okay, so now I'm going in with my brown pencil. This is from LA Girl. Yes, it's the perfect precision pencil. And I'm just going to apply this. Okay, so I like to go in with a gloss first before I put down like a matte lipstick. I don't know, I just don't like the feel of like matte lipsticks like on my lips. So I like the gloss because the gloss helps to keep it like moisturized, but then it kind of dries a little bit matte, but I still got that moisture in there, if that makes sense. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Tofi, and I get that blended first. And then I go over top with that with the Milani. This is the Milani Satin Matte. And this is in the shade doo -doo 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 -doo. Lavish. So then I kind of just hit that a little bit. You guys see what I mean? Like it's gonna dry down, but it's gonna have like a little bit of a gloss to it. I prefer that look a lot better. That's just me though. Like you don't wanna do that, then don't do it. I just, I like that better. I don't like my lips to feel so dry. Like I don't, ugh. It's something about the way that feels on my lips. It just bothers me. Okay, well, let's go ahead and blend all of this out. Um. Uh, pat it in there since I had such a hard time with the damn concealer I don't want to really wipe it too much because um, I don't want to wipe off my damn concealer because lord did I have a time with that like, it was just too much I'm not really sure I, I'm going to try it again I'm all for second chances but I I don't know about that damn concealer. That concealer 
really didn't sit well with me or my skin. The Laura Mercier is kind of like what saved it a little bit, but still. Here is my final review on the NARS and the Laura Mercier. So I'm going to give you guys all of the positives first. Um, the positives will be the Laura Mercier is super lightweight. I love the fact that um, it just blends out so well. Even after baking, you guys saw me bake and I don't have like a lot of powder residue left over. Normally I have like a lot of powder residue like right here on my nose. So the fact that I don't have it isn't a plus the foundation i love the way that it is sitting right now like it's not too heavy it's not too much um it's very sheer but i can let you guys know at the the end um of my day how it actually continues to set throughout the day because i'm about to go to work but um as far as the powder i'm gonna give the powder i don't know like an eight out of ten because i i do like the powder um as far as the foundation i'm gonna give the foundation eight out of ten because i'm i'm kind of feeling it i like the way that my skin is matte but it's a little bit glowy it still has some hydration to it so i'll give that about an eight out of ten now as far as this concealer so i purchased the liquid concealer as well as the cream concealer i have not used the liquid concealer i will probably use that one later and probably because i'm more used to using liquid concealers lately um, the cream concealer just kind of threw me off a little bit. I do like the way the ending turned out. However, I will personally say that I can see like splotchiness within the, the concealer, which is bothering the hell out of me. And it didn't matter how many times I tried to like reapply or like double it up or thicken it up a little bit. It just would not thicken. So I feel like maybe this is for somebody who kind of wants like still like a sheer look maybe like not so much full coverage which is fine but for me because i do use color corrector and i do add a setting powder prior to adding the concealer and my foundation i need something that's going to be a little bit more full coverage and a little bit more thicker um and this just it's good i like it 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 looks nice but i'm just saying like there are parts of my face that i can really like it just bothers me y'all know i'm a virgo um, but I can see where it's a little splotchy. It's not horrible. It's not bad. It's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that I can tell. So if you are a girl that needs like really, really thick coverage, I would possibly say, I don't know. I don't know about this. I'm, I'm going to give it a second chance because I did buy it and I do want my money's worth. So I'm going to get it, give it a second chance. But as of right now, I'm not really too fond of that at all. The primer, I do like the primer. Normally, um, I am super oily right here and I can see like a little bit of shine, but it's not really, really heavy as much as it would be. So I'm here for that. But the foundation, I am a fan of because it didn't oxidize. You guys know oxidization. Is that a word? It's probably not, but I'm going to use it. Um, that has been an issue for me in the past. So I... I like it. I like it. I now is this something like I said in the video earlier? Is this something that I'm gonna wear every day? Absolutely not, because this makeup was way too damn expensive for my budget. But maybe it's something that I'll just make YouTube videos with, or I could wear it on my date nights, cause you know. Um, so maybe, maybe I'll do that. I'm not sure, but um, overall, I did like the products. I'm not sure if I got anything else. I think I got like some travel size items as well um like i said i'll try the liquid concealer of the nars i got it in the same shade and everything just the liquid version but i'll try that i will say that with the cream concealer it did not take as much as it would with the liquid concealer um even though we don't use that much anymore anyway but i'm just saying it, it was very very little and the blend was good it just it was just splotchy in some areas to throw it out there but anyway if you guys enjoyed the video today make sure you guys like and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one